The ecosystem of Paris is really hyperactive, but really young. Um, which is nice is that it's really easy to connect. I mean, someone who's coming to Paris who wants to jump into the startup ecosystem, really in a month or two, you know, they can know everyone. The French ecosystem has been building up for the past uh, decade or so in a post uh, web 1.0 uh, and I've seen a tremendous uh, restructuring uh, which is really going strong. Paris is a great place to build a startup. Uh, it's a very nice city uh, with lots of energy. There are a lot of uh, talented people. Uh, it's uh, attracting uh, the talents uh, from everywhere in France, but also from Europe now. We have uh, entrepreneurs coming uh, from abroad uh, to Paris. Uh, we have a good ecosystem. It's, it's, uh, it's really improving. Since when we started uh, Sherry in uh, 2007, there was almost nothing happening at the at the fostering for startup ecosystem. You know, all the startup weekends and uh, start in Paris uh, events and the moment where everybody can come and pitch their startup, meet people, mash up, mix with other co-founders. There was nothing in 2007, so it's really, really young. And now, if you go on moonboard.org or Startup Digest, you can find so many events every day. You have at least like, I don't know, three or four every day in Paris. The web is the uh, number one tech event in Europe and perhaps one of the top three or five in, in the world. So it's a gathering of startups, entrepreneurs, investors, thought leaders around the world, but joining in Paris beginning of uh, December every year. It's really a, like a small accelerator for startups, just in three days. Today still it's the case that a lot of the talented young people, they go out and what they end up doing is they either work for an investment bank or for a consulting company. Um, I think this is changing though. People start to realize there's an, there's an opportunity to create things, to change, you know, potentially change the world so with, with new products. And at the same time also you have investors starting to realize the opportunity. You have a lot of the big VC firms out of Silicon Valley starting to focus on Europe, setting up offices in, in London mainly, but I think uh, it's, it's, there's a good chance uh, there's going to be also presence in France soon. Um, so you do start to see attention starting to shift to, to here. We started with uh, French VCs um, and that didn't work so well because the French VCs didn't want to invest in, uh, in, in, in business that have so low margins. Our margin are a few percent per ticket sale. So it's a volume market. We, you need to sell a lot of tickets to be, uh, be break-even. And they didn't want to take the risk uh, to do it. Uh, but we asked an investment fund based in London, in Geneva, uh, which is Index Ventures and they were really excited by the product uh, and that took them half an hour to say yes. They are in a situation where most of the people are obsessed about the ID and look for the ID and, 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 and are much more convinced that being an entrepreneur is trying to prove that your ID is right but finding the right ID. They don't see that ideas became a commodity in our world that get exchanged very easily and that people can just find the, the right idea and execute it well. So the, this passion for execution is not, is not very common. France is also struggling with the fact that we are a country where the regulations are very stiff in terms of uh, labor. So it's not possible to scale up and down very easily. Um, social charges are weighing companies. Uh, we have a number of, of incentives that work well for startups, 
but the government is questioning whether they want to continue that. Uh, so there is uh, currently fear that the government will sabotage the build-up that's been happening for the past decade. Uh, and we feel very strongly about that. We created an uh, association called France Digital, and we've been lobbying the government by educating them about the virtues of the ecosystem. In fact, we've actually pulled 100 startups and gathered the numbers uh, showing and proving that together we are worth the equivalent of one of those uh, you know, uh, listed top companies uh, that everyone looks at uh, in the luxury or uh, in the car industry in France. And in fact, our numbers are through the roof. We don't have so much investment funds here, but there's no, there is no uh, borders for that. You can take an investment from the US, you can take an investment from uh, the UK, you can take an investment for Germ from Germany. There is no border for investment. So you can do your company in Paris and take an investment from everywhere. I think right now the, the ecosystem is much more better because also it, it, they create links with other cities like Berlin or Silicon Valley or uh, London, so you, you go more global with uh, this kind of ecosystem. Paris has a strong economy, so we can very easily find the first customer. And uh, we have a lot of universities with uh, talented people. And I think in the next five years, Paris is really going to be a good place in Europe for entrepreneurship. Today we think a lot about London for, ent for entrepreneurs, but I think Paris is going to work. I think also that some of the startup ecosystem, for instance in Silicon Valley, don't realize that Europe is really going on. And I remember meeting some VCs in San Francisco telling me like, I don't care about Europe, you know, it's like your cheese with some holes in it, I don't understand the market, it's so complicated, you go within one market, it's hard to go to the other one. And I told them, yeah, you're right. It's difficult to read what we do in Europe for other places in the world, but they shouldn't be blind about this. And I heard some VCs there saying like, I don't care about Europe. I just don't look at it because nothing is happening here, but so many things are happening. And that's kind of a startup revolution here.